Hey guys and welcome along to a new video on this channel. We are into the last two nights of our stay here in Tenerife South and we've checked into a really special place. This is the view behind us. We've checked into the Hard Rock Hotel in Playa Parisio. Not so much going on around Playa Parisio. We've been in Los Cristianos, we've been in Las Americas and we've explored Costa Odeje as well. So for the last two days of our trip, we've gone all inclusive at the Hard Rock Hotel. So we're gonna bring you guys along with us and show you what it's like. Now, if any of you are planning to go all inclusive for only two nights, we had a massive problem with this. We were told that everything was fine before we came. And then when we arrived to check in, we had loads of problems. I'll tell you about that later on, something to be aware of if you're staying at this hotel. But right now, let's have a little look around the room. Okay, so here we are, we're this one, room 10321. This is your little key to get in. I've already opened the door because I've done this like five, six different times and it didn't work on camera every single time. So just gonna go straight in. Here we go, and this is the room that we have to stay in tonight. Two single beds still. As I say, that's uh, always low points for me on two single beds. We love a double bed, but there we go. The decor is really, really nice. I've got a little sofa over here and the view off the balcony is amazing as you just saw in the previous video we've got a little spa area down there and the little adults area bar over there swim up pool bar over there and a nice little sea view in the distance little balcony table and chairs there over here is quite cool as well we've got a little bow speaker over here notepad and pen that's what you need that for loads of mirrors in this place everything is mirror. And then you've got a little sink area over here because these are your bathroom and showers. So if we open here, here's a shower. And then in here, we have the toilet. Toilet's got a little phone in it just in case you need any help whilst you're on the toilet. Over here as well, we've got our little tea and coffee area. And in the cupboard behind the door, we've got some robes, an ironing board, and some slippers. And what's in the other one? Let's have a look. In here, uh, you've got a dirty laundry service. So you can hang your washing up there, and you've got a dirty laundry service here. I think you have to pay a little bit extra for that one. Wine bottles can go in here, which is cool. Got a hair dryer and an iron. Everything you need. And then in here is our mini fridge. Uh, we've stocked ours up, so this wouldn't come with the room. You get the two waters, uh, the tonic waters, and two Cokes. We stocked ours up with a few extra bits that we've acquired along the way from our trip. And yeah, looks really, really good. Nice little TV there in front of the beds. And this is the sun cream that I'm using. I didn't want to spend loads of money on sun cream, so I bought the kids' version. It's uh, SPF 50. Uh, for kids, basically. I think it's fine. It's done me well so far. And I've been going on this trip for the last five nights and I'm not burnt at all and it costs six euros fifty so can't complain at that. Oh and also we need to mention this room has air conditioning as you can see behind us there's a little controller by the door as well as you'd expect in a five star hotel we've got that on right now we've just come back from the pool area we've been there for the last couple of hours gonna stay here for a little bit check out the entertainment tonight um, just chill for now though and get ready to go out tonight so we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Right let's show you a little bit what they got here at breakfast this is like the vegetable corner We've got loads of vegetables, obviously it's sticking with what cafe theme, we've still got a guitar there. The little hall is just over here. We've also got a selection of cheeses and ham and some more continental style breakfast here. And some fish and salmon over here. Over here is really cool. So over here they've got a donut wall. So you can select any donuts you want off the wall. Nice little different feature to a, a hotel breakfast that we haven't seen before. Over here's more regular kind of eggs and stuff like that. The kind of stuff you'd expect to see at a breakfast. Traditional English breakfast stuff over here. And then over here, we saw this before we came on TikTok and on YouTube. This is Kebab Corner. So they have a kebab station at breakfast, which is served until 11 a.m. Probably for the people that are just on their way back from the Veronica ship, I'd imagine. I've actually seen a few people go for that this morning. Here's a little food hall indoors. And then outdoor, little eating area outdoors as well, where you're overlooking the pool area. So, big pros about that breakfast. Well, there's a couple of things actually. There's a woman playing piano, which is a really early gig, but it's nice playing like little piano covers. Bless you. Hi. 
little piano covers by by the breakfast and then the the breakfast is also going until 11 a.m so it's why we actually made it today because it's really good for people that are diagnosed with laziness like like i am um so they can actually make it to the breakfast we never get to make it to these hotel breakfasts very often so yeah goes until 11 a.m which is quite a late one okay so back down to the pool bar we're at the eden pool which is like the adults pool area uh, they've got a splash pool which is the children's pool area and then this one is like the private adults one uh, our balcony is just behind us up here somewhere uh, and this one is the one that's got a swim up bar in it as well so it's really cool nice little area and it's just gone quarter past 11 so we're going to spend the day here today um last night i didn't speak to you last night so we we're getting ready to go out last night and um, I forgot to bring the vlogging camera out with me, but it was absolutely fine because we only went for a few drinks in the lobby of this hotel. And uh, there was a guy singing to backing tracks. So as it turns out, I wouldn't have been able to film any of it anyway, uh, because YouTube would have given me a copyright claim on all of the music he was singing. But he was just, uh, he was good actually. He was a good singer, but um, singing to a backing track. So it was kind of like glorified karaoke, but he was singing all the Sweet Carolines, 500 Miles, all that kind of thing. Um, all the classics basically Oasis, Wonderwall, that kind of stuff so that was entertainment in the main lobby last night which is where we can get our all-inclusive drinks there was also different entertainment up in the sky bar that we didn't check out yet we're going to check the sky bar out maybe tonight um, but it looks expensive up there I think it's going to be out of our price range to be honest and our all-inclusive wristbands don't work up in the sky bar so that's another little pet peeve I've got about this place. We had a few issues, as I said, at the beginning of this video when we checked in yesterday. Uh, and I'm gonna talk about that in a little while's time. So keep watching this video because if you're coming here for a couple of nights especially, then you're gonna to wanna to know about this because it's a few issues that we had because we were only staying for two nights. I'll get into that in a little while. So over there is a swim up pool bar. There's the actual pool bar over there. They're linked together. This is the view of the day. So it's just after 12 o'clock in the minute. We've got lunch booked at 1.45 at uh, the Beach Club, which is still part of the Hard Rock Hotel. You've got to make a res reservation to go down there. It's uh, part of our all-inclusive thing that we can go and use. So we're gonna go check that out at 1.45. We'll bring you guys along with us. And there's another little bar, it's called Lagoon Bar, which looks amazing. Apparently it's just downstairs. So we'll probably check that out either before or just after lunch as well. Um, and show you guys a little bit more of the Hard Rock Hotel here. Okay, so we've come down to the Beach Club, which is one of the, I guess it's kind of like the a la, a la, a la, a la carte restaurants. You can see that, I say that. A la carte restaurants here at the Hard Rock, but it's included in our all-inclusive wristbands. So we get one starter each, one main course each, and one dessert each, and a drink included with the all-inclusive thing. So we're here, it's overlooking, it's called the Beach Club, it's overlooking a little Hard Rock beach, and it's pretty busy here as well. And we've just ordered our food, which has arrived. We've got a Caesar salad and some ham croquettes to share for the first course. And for the main course, we've gone for some pesto pasta. And what is the other thing we have in the main course? Pesto pasta and our club sandwich. So we're gonna share everything. And the food here looks amazing. There's no kind of, rest there's no kind of like normal buffet restaurant style here for lunch. You've got to book into one of the restaurants. Um, but yeah, loving it, looks really, really good. Here we go then, lunch's main course has arrived, there's a the pesto pasta, some chips and club sandwich over there, again we're going to share everything. Here's a view of what we've got right now, it's clouded over just a little bit right now for lunch, but that's fine, I'm sure the sun will come back out this afternoon. Here's the busy beach club. Okay, so just finished off at lunch in the beach club area of the Hard Rock Hotel. I'm just going to flip the camera around and show you this uh, view. It's absolutely amazing. It's one of the other areas. I think kids are allowed here. So they've got the splash pool where the kids are allowed, the Eden pool, which is the adults only where we're spending most of our time. And then there's this area, the beach club. Have a look at this. Cloud over a little bit at the moment, but this is the beach club area. I think there's a little DJ playing there. Or there was earlier when we arrived. There's a little DJ playing there in the middle of the water. A swim up pool, par pool bar just here as well and then loads of sunbeds all around it. So this is just another little area, part of the Hard Rock. We're gonna hop back in the lift now, back upstairs to the adults only Eden pool area. Um, I think there's another, there's a fourth area as well that you can go to, I think it's called the Lagoon Bar. So we're gonna try and find that this afternoon as well uh, and have a little look at that one as well. Okay, so we're back on our balcony here in the Hard Rock Hotel and um, I've been saying that I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the troubles that we had during check-in here at the Hard Rock. Um, and we tried to check in 
So Sunday it was, Sunday night and Monday night we're doing here at the Hard Rock and we had it booked for absolutely ages, the two nights stay uh, and we were originally going to be bed and breakfast as we have been all week on this trip in Tenerife and then we got here and we realised that the Hard Rock wasn't exactly in Costa de Hay, it's actually in Playa Parisia which is a little bit further out than we thought and we didn't know how much of a town there was around it like it reminds us of the hotels in the south of Port Ventura to go to places like Tui Magic Life and Occidental Handia Princess, they're all kind of like off the main road and just loads of hotels surrounding each other. So there's not really much else down there and to get to your nearest town by taxi it will cost an absolute fortune. So in the Hard Rock we realised that that might be the case. So as I've got here I'm not entirely sure that it is. There is a few other shops and things here that I can see off the balcony but we thought it was going to be like that anyway. So we decided to change our mind and go all inclusive and treat ourselves at the Hard Rock for the last couple of days. Uh, so we emailed them and we said, look, what's the price difference if we were to upgrade to all-inclusive? And they gave us a price and they said it's going to be 140 euros a day if you're going to go from bed and breakfast to all-inclusive. Um, and that was it. They sent us that in an email. That was it. They didn't ask anything else about our stay or anything. Um, and I said, OK, well, can we book that? And they said, when you arrive at reception on your check-in day, you can just upgrade there and then. There's always availability, there's no issues with it. It'll be absolutely fine to just go to reception and upgrade on the day. Um, so we did that, we turned up on Sunday morning and we went to reception and as we checked in, we said, look, we want to upgrade to all-inclusive for the last two days of our trip. And uh, at reception, they said, well, it's not possible to do all-inclusive because you're only staying for two nights uh, and you need to stay for a minimum I think it was a minimum of three or four nights. I can't remember exactly what the minimum was now. But they said that it's not possible to do it. And we said, well, if you told us that before, we could have made other plans or you know, figured out where we we're gonna go for food. And so we, we showed them the email that we had from somebody at the Hard Rock Hotel team. And basically, because we had it in writing uh, in an email, that they were gonna offer us all inclusive for 140, pound, uh, for 140 euro per person per day. They, they, I mean, it was a mistake on whoever's part sent us that email apparently, uh, and it's not actually possible to do it, but they, they had to honour it, they had to give us the all-inclusive wristband. So I guess in that sense we got lucky, um, but I guess their customer service team were kind of backed into a corner and didn't really have any other option at that point. So we managed to get all-inclusive for the two nights that we're here. Um, and my God, we're making sure we're spending the 140 euros. <laughs> I'm tallying up everything that I spend. Yesterday we spent about 160 euros in a day. Today, um, we've just got back from the pool bar now, and I think with lunch and with our pool bar drinks and cocktails and stuff like that, I think I'm on 110 euros at the minute. Gotta make sure that I smash the 140 euros to make sure I get my money's worth. Um, we still got dinner tonight uh, and drinks after dinner tonight, so I'm sure we'll absolutely smash it again. Um, but yeah, that's the situation. We had that little bit of difficulty on check-in, so if you are coming to this place, um, then double check what you're offered um, for check-in day um, and don't take what they say for granted. Get what you want, get it in writing um, because when you've got it in writing they can't really say anything at the check-in desk, you have to, have to honour it really, don't they? So I guess we got lucky in that sense but yeah, it's worked out good for us in the end. Right, at this point I'm going to go and have a shower, lie down for a bit and get ready for this evening. It's our last night here of, um, of our whole holiday. It's our last night in the Hard Rock Hotel, it's our last night in the whole holiday. We're flying back to Port Ventura tomorrow, so I'm going to go get showered and we'll get ready for tonight. I'll catch up with you guys then. Oh, actually, right before I do go and get in the shower, one more thing that I wanted to say is about my opinions, my what I feel about the Hard Rock Hotel, my opinions of the hotel so far, and that is that there, it's a five-star hotel and I think you can really tell that because I've noticed that they're a little bit petty with things, especially when you're all-inclusive. I don't like going to an all-inclusive hotel where, where you're not actually all-inclusive. So all-inclusive means you know, you're know you entitled to food, drinks, whatever you want really. Um, but hotels these days are making this all-inclusive and then there's always a level above and there's always a level above that and there's always a level above that. So you're never all-inclusive these days and that's exactly what this hotel has done. So there's only limited drinks on the drinks menu, there's limited cocktails. And we asked one of the most basic cocktails ever, Sex on the Beach. It's one of the most basic cocktails, easiest, cheapest to make probably. And they said that it's not on the all-inclusive cocktail list. So, you know, if we want it, we have to pay for it. So it's just little petty things like that. Um, you know, on, we're, we're at lunch of the day. You know, you get Cokes and waters and some cocktails and spirits and stuff for free, your basic ones. But I was looking at the, the soft drinks menu 
and an apple tizer if you're all inclusive it's not all inclusive for an apple tizer you have to pay one euro charge to your room and it's just little petty things like this like petty little one euro two euro costs that make me just think yeah, i don't know it doesn't sit well with me because if you've already paid a lot of money to be in a five-star hotel lovely hotel you paid a lot of money to be here paid a lot of money to be all inclusive then what are they getting from charging you the extra one euro the extra two euro here and there for these other little petty things anyway that's one of my pet peeves of this trip uh, and this hotel but anyway i'm actually gonna go and have a shower now okay so it's been a few hours since we last spoke and we're just about to get ready well we are ready and we're just about to go out for dinner we're going for our last meal of the evening the last meal of the evening i've just woken up i don't know if you can tell the last meal of the holiday and we've booked into one of the a la carte restaurants um, we couldn't get into the one that we wanted to go to, so we've gone for our second choice, but it looks good nonetheless. We've got more out of six, so we're excited about that. But I wanted to show you this view from my balcony. I'm not sure if the camera's going to do it much justice, but look at that. Beautiful view from our room here. Um, and I'm sad to be going home. Tomorrow is the day that we go home. Our flight is at half past three. We go back to Port Ventura, we go via Gran Canaria, and then back to Port Ventura. I think we're there about half past... Our flight is at half past four. I'm going to get back to Fort Ventura at half past seven. So, not too bad of a journey. But anyway, that's tomorrow's problem. Right now, let's go for dinner. All right, here's the location for tonight's final dinner. She's picked a Scottish burger. Oh, There's a Scottish burger challenge. Anyway, this is like some kind of sports bar. Izzy's picked it out, would you believe? Um, I'm not complaining, but the menu looked good, so let's go. Okay, so I feel awkward vlogging here. There's a lot of people around us. There's also some music in the background, so I might get cancelled for it anyway by YouTube. But we've ordered our food. I've got a beer right here. Uh, Izzy's in my coke at the minute and we're sharing a water. And we've got some mozzarella sticks for the second time this week. I'm on the coke. Excited for that. Oh, she's not on the coke, yeah, the Coca-Cola. Um, Coca-Cola. Got to make that distinction, don't we, at this point. Um, and we're on mozzarella sticks for the second time this week. Mozzarella sticks could also be a little, like, street drug as well, couldn't it? <laughs> Um, and we've got nachos and mozzarella sticks to start. I know we're both going for some kind of like chicken Tex-Mex kind of chicken shit grilled thing for chicken. grilled chicken. Grilled no. chicken. Battered chicken. Battered chicken. Something like that for our main. We'll show you when they come out anyway. Um, but yeah, not going to vlog too much on here because it's really loud and really awkward actually. Um, because everyone's looking at me. But what I was saying earlier on about how they're so petty with everything here. About, you know, being all inclusive but then having to pay little extra things. So this pint of Heineken included with all-inclusive if i wanted a pint of fosters which i mean i never want a pint of fosters really anyway that would have been two euros which is just ridiculous um we're interested in the brownie for dessert it's two euros it's just little petty things like that that make this place i know it leaves a little it leaves it leaves a bad taste in my mouth if you pardon the pun um so for that yeah this this hotel is losing points for that because they're just being a little bit petty when it comes down to the money side of things all right here we go starters arrived we've got the chicken nachos which look incredible look at that wallop we're gonna wallop that in a minute and then there's nat izzy's ruined this already there's three mozzarella sticks there and some sauces over there all right Iz, let's go dig in all right here we go and this is the main course isabel do you know what this looks like looks like i should have gone for the burger oh dear what have i done it was sold to us as a chicken Tex-Mex, but realistically, it should have just said chicken and chips. Okay, so finished up in the dinner place um, and uh, finished there. We're just outside um, in between the two buildings and this complex is really, really pretty. I'm gonna flip the camera around to show you a little bit better. So here's the building that our room is in and where we've just been eating in. Huge building and all these little lights to go around at, midnight, uh, at, at night, sorry. Amazing. And then here's the other building, you can see the hard rock up there. And in this bit up here is where the entertainment is tonight. I can hear someone singing Purple Rain. Sounds like another backing track singer, so it sounds like I'm not going to be able to film any of it when we get there. But there we go. Let's go check out the entertainment for tonight. <laughs> Right, okay, we're back in the hotel now, and it's only five past 11, but we're both absolutely shattered. That is the holiday done. And uh, we're gonna sleep here tonight for the last night, and then we have checkout at 12 tomorrow, and our flight isn't until 4.30, so we have to be there at 3.30. So 
we'll figure out how we get to the airport in the morning. That is a problem for another day. For now, I'm going to end the vlog. We'll see you in the morning. Good night. Okay, so for once, I actually did remember to finish the video, but the microphone didn't work. So I was talking to you when we got to Tenerife South Airport um, to finish the video, but yeah, microphone didn't work. So we're back in Coalaho right now, and I'm going to finish the video right here. So thank you for watching this video. If you did, make sure you like it. That really helps us out. And subscribe if you're new around here. And I'm going to put a few more videos on the screen right now for you to go and watch. So go and do that right now, and we'll see you next time.